Valentine's Day is tomorrow, which means you still have time to plan something special, perhaps even romantic, a romantic musical playlist, perhaps. But beware, because not all classic love songs are actually about love. Here with his list of the top tracks to avoid this Valentine's Day is iHeartRadio ambassador Patrick Langlois, Patty Lang. Let's get right to it. First up, One by U2. I loved this song growing up. Break it down for me. What is this song really about? Yeah, one of the most popular songs by U2 off of their 1991 album, Actung Baby. Often mistaken for a love song. I have a friend who, who danced to this song at her wedding. Uh, but no, it is not a song about love at all. It was actually written by Bono and the boys as they were in the studio recording their album at a time where they annoyed each other so much that rumor says that they almost broke up. And the lyrics really say it. It says, we're one, but we're not the same. We will hurt each other, and then we will do it again. So I guess it could be a song about marriage, but it's not really a love song. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about a song that has marriage right in the title, Marry You by Bruno Mars. People have been using this song in wedding, engagement videos. I mean, they get really into it. What's this one really about? Just on Monday evening, uh, there was a couple that proposed uh, during a uh, Detroit Pistons basketball game. Uh, and yeah, the, the title says marry you, but the lyrics, I mean, it, it's right out there. It says, if um, it's a beautiful night, we're looking for something dumb to do. The song really is about uh, making a drunken mistake and waking up the next morning and realizing that, hey, we probably shouldn't have done that. And again, in the lyrics, it says, uh, if we wake up and you want to break up, that's cool with me, girl. It was fun. And so it's really not about uh, about getting married because you're in love. It's about getting married because you got nothing better to do. Oh, well, yeah, that's, that, that's a reason to get married, I guess. Uh, I Will Always Love yeah. You by Dolly Parton is actually about, <laughs> I didn't know this, it's actually about quitting your job. Well, it's about Dolly Parton quitting her job. Uh, now, back in the day, she had a, a duetting partner. She did everything with this guy, uh, a guy called Portner Wagner. And she wrote this song uh, as a plea to him that she, need, she needed to step away. And, and again, in the lyrics, she says, if I stay, I will only be in your way. I need to go. And so she wrote this song for him, uh, you know, to let him know that he would always have a special place in her heart, but that it was time to move away. But again, all we hear is Whitney Houston saying, I will always love you. And we think it's this great love song but it isn't really. Okay, I'm gonna need you to drill down on this next one, Patrick, because uh, You're Beautiful by James Blunt. Cheesy, yes, but about love? How can it not be about love? I'm gonna let James Blunt himself explain it. I found uh, this 2003 article where he says, quote, and I'm gonna take away uh, the swear words here. He says, You're Beautiful is not this soft romantic love song. It's about a guy who's high as a kite on drugs in the subway stalking someone else's girlfriend when that guy is right there in front of him. And James Bunn says this guy should be locked away and put in prison for being some kind of pervert because it's not about love, or at least it's about one-sided love. The other person doesn't know that there is love involved. So, so it's about a stalker. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. it's about a stalker. Okay, Every Breath You Take by the Police is not a love song. Is this a stalking song too? Yeah, pr pretty much. Singa says that uh, it's a pretty nasty little song. It's a song about jealousy and surveillance and ownership. Uh, every breath you take, every step you make, I will be right there watching you. It's about a guy who clearly uh, has been broken up with and he is not taking it uh, very well. And he says that uh, you, whatever you do, I'm still going to be there looking over your shoulder. Not the kind of song that you want to play on Valentine's Day, I don't think. Okay, and lastly, my friend, um, Sign Sealed Delivered, I'm Yours by Stevie Wonder. That, to me, sounds like an affirmative statement of love. And you're saying it's about regret. What's, what's going on here? Again, it's, it's kind of one-sided love. Uh, Sign Sealed Delivered is uh, Stevie Wonder's very first hit. It got him his first Grammy nomination. But he says that it's a song about regret. It's about someone who, who uh, breaks up with his significant other, only to then realize that that was a mistake uh, at a point when it is too late. And so the love is gone, uh, but the person realizes that he shouldn't have uh, broken up. So again, uh, you know, maybe it's the good song you want to play on Valentine's Day if you're spending Valentine's Day with your ex. Otherwise, keep it off your playlist. Well, you did it, Patrick. You ruined Valentine's Day. Thanks so much. There you go, the Grinch. <laughs>